Life change does not start with inspiration. Life change starts with education. Learning is the beginning of life change. Money doesn't make you sophisticated. Only study and practice makes you sophisticated. Only study and practice makes you cultured. And only study and practice makes you happy. Study and practice makes you rich. Key phrase, don't be lazy in learning. One, how to do well. Next, how to live well. Don't be lazy in learning and practicing the art of economic, practicing the art of productivity, and practicing the art of lifestyle. Life is worthwhile if you learn. You gotta know, you gotta have the information. When I talk to the kids in school, that's what I say. Get the information while you're here. What you're gonna do with it, that's up to you. Throw it all away, that's up to you. Just use a little of it, that's up to you. But while you're here, get it all. So jot this down now, as I used in my notes, what you don't know will hurt you. Ignorance is not bliss. Ignorance is tragedy. Ignorance is illness. Ignorance is devastation. Ignorance is going broke. Ignorance is, creates a poor life. So you gotta know, you gotta have the information. Number one, learn from your personal experience. One way to learn to do it right is first mess it up and do it wrong. That doesn't mean it's the end of your life, but just, you know, clean up the mess, now do it right. From a negative experience, sometimes we learn to do the positive things that saves our life and makes us successful. They say, if you survive your first heart attack, if you survive, you may now live to be a very old person. Why is that? That first heart attack was a wake-up call. And then maybe the doctor said, another one of these and your history. And you say, wow. And you make it for the health food store. And you start reading every book you can read on health and nutrition. And you start doing the push-ups and you start jogging on the beach and doing all the stuff. And all of that change now could very well help you to live a long, long life. Having been alerted in an alarm system that serves you well. So learn from your negative as well as your positive experiences. Here's the next, learn from other people's experiences. That's how you get smarter in a shorter period of time. Somebody that's been through it for five years and they wrote a book, and the book, if you read it, could save you five years, cost $30. You just, you can't miss that kind of education. Best to get the information before, yes, we can recover. Yes, we can come back from bankruptcy and disaster and poor health. But wow, if we had the information up front that would save us some of those years of disaster, how much better that would be. So learn from other people's experiences, both negative and positive. Don't be casual in learning. Don't be lazy in learning. Information is the key. Learning is the beginning of wealth. Learning is the beginning of health. Learning is the beginning of prosperity. Learning is the beginning of democracy, the beginning of freedom. All values, all virtues start with the learning process. So don't be lazy in learning. Don't be lazy in gathering the library that will teach you and instruct you. Success is a numbers game. I'm asking you to be mature enough to start checking your own numbers. How many books have you read in the last 90 days? Transform your life. Become cultured, powerful, sophisticated, healthy, influential all the rest of the stuff you want. How many books? How many classes? How committed are you to taking what's available and turning it into equities unprecedented since we live in a country that there's been no such country in the last six and a half thousand years? Get smart. At the, that's what these journals are for. That's what pad and pencil's for. That's what taking notes is for. See if you can't increase your ability to comprehend ideas, information that can be life transforming. Don't miss the opportunity to learn. Take a good key phrase home, use it in your training. Don't be lazy in learning. Don't be casual in learning. Develop a whole new intensity for the 90s that you're not going to miss the information. You're not going to miss the stories. You're not going to miss the details. Get smart. Here's a couple of parts to it. Number one, your own personal experience, right? If you've had a bad week, just sit down and ponder that for a while. Study it. See if you can't pick up some ideas from a poor week and then make a better week. Learn from your own experiences. One way to learn to do it right is do it wrong. I mean, you know, that's one way to learn to do it right. Do it wrong. Now the key is don't let it take too long. If you've done it wrong for a year, we suggest that's long enough. You don't need another year just to prove a point. No, one year's enough. This is called the possibility for life change starts with education. Don't be lazy in learning. Don't be lazy in picking up the ideas. 
Don't be lazy in learning from your own experience. Learning is the beginning of wealth. Learning is the beginning of life change. Some people want to start with motivation, but you don't start with motivation. Somebody says, just motivate this guy, he'll be all right. The answer is no, probably not. So education, get smart. Don't miss the training class. You say, well, I've already been to one of those classes. I've already heard it. I got a good phrase for you to take home. That's no sign you got it. Just because you've listened to those millionaire tapes one time is no sign you've got it. I'm asking you to listen to them over and over and over. I'm asking you to dedicate yourself to a new level of learning. You know, study, learn, grow, change, develop. Never let it be said you didn't learn, right? If you want to solve your problems, you got to learn. If you want to take advantage of an opportunity, you got to learn. Develop your own personal philosophy here. Philosophy, major determining factor in how your life works out. Each person's philosophy is like the set of the sail. The same wind blows on us all. The difference in where we arrive at the end of the week, at the end of the month, at the end of the year is not the wind that blows. But what's going to make the major difference? Each person's personal philosophy that sets a better sail, sets a better sail. So don't ask for a more favorable wind. That's like wishing something that's not going to occur. Don't ask for better seed and soil. All you got's what's available. Don't curse what you got. The key is to set a better sail and turn what you've got into the miracle of your future. Don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. Don't wish for less problems wish for more skills. And that's the reason for coming here, spending a couple of days of intense effort, taking notes, rolling up your sleeves, going to work, commit yourself to learning so that you can get smarter for the days ahead. Develop the ability to absorb, the ability to get everything. I don't know what all you've planned here, but you know, be in every class you possibly can. Just stay as long as you can. The key is not to be careless in the gathering of knowledge not to be casual in the ideas that could double your health, triple your income, accelerate your career, secure your fortune, amplify your harvest. So don't be careless in the gathering of ideas. Absorb every one you possibly can. The whole world is governed by laws, the universe, in fact, laws. We call it the law of electricity. We call it the law of gravity. There's mathematical laws, there's physical laws, speed and velocity laws, agricultural laws. There's all kinds of laws. Now that we find ourselves on the spinning planet, you just have to learn what I call the setup. Learn the setup. Life's setup. Now, we didn't set it up, but we're here, so you got to learn it. And we should learn the setup for two basic reasons. Number one, to keep from getting hurt. That's one of the major reasons for learning, so you won't get hurt. See, economically, socially, personally, you can get hurt just not knowing. Ignorance is not bliss. Ignorance is poverty. Ignorance is tragedy. You gotta know or you're gonna get hurt. It's good to know not to walk out the 10 story window. That's excellent information. Now, what if a guy didn't know and he walks out? Now he's dead at the bottom. Somebody says, well, the poor guy didn't know. <laughs> you gotta know or you're gonna get hurt. You don't have to like the setup. I don't ask you to like how it is. That's not what's important, but it is important to learn how it is. Okay. So you don't have to like it, but you should learn it. That's what I tell the kids, right? Make sure you get the information. What you think about it, that's up to you. What you're going to do with it, that'll soon be up to you, but make sure you get it. See, there's nothing worse than being stupid. Nothing. I mean, being broke is bad, but being stupid is awful. And what's really bad is being broken, stupid. Right? That's about the end of the world. I mean, there isn't anything much worse than that, unless you're sick. So make sure you get the information. It's key. You don't have to like it, but learn it. It's called your basic smart. So number one, learn so you won't get hurt. Whether you like it or not, learn. Now here's the second reason for learning, the setup, to benefit. It's called the plus of life. And that's what life is, right? Both minus and plus. The minus is tragedy heartache, misery, failure, unhappiness. But life is also happiness, prosperity, good feelings. So here's the key. Learn to get on the good side of the way things work. Now, in transforming our lives, we don't start with attitude. We don't start with the inspiration here. We start with education. Somebody says, well, I expected you just come get motivated today. Well, that probably won't do it. No, that's not where you start. Life change does not start with inspiration. Life change starts with education. You've got to be educated to the point of where you might have messed up. 
messed up and all you got to go is right down through the list don't need some teacher to come by and tell you be your own best teacher saying hey let me make a list of some places i've messed up because if i let this down let this down that probably affects the rest and the answer is that's true so we don't start with inspiration we start with education somebody says well just motivate this guy he'll be all right just motivate him get him turned on probably not so we start with education what's the first education if it isn't going well and you live in america you have messed up you don't need to change countries you say well the country's messed up that's like cursing the soil and cursing the seed and the sunshine and the rain which is all you got don't curse all you got when you get your own planet you can rearrange this whole deal but this one you got to take like it comes become rich and powerful and sophisticated and healthy and influential part of this personal development challenge is to develop mentally learn study grow change it's what schooling is all about and the human development takes time incredible amounts of time that's why we've taken the time for this seminar it just takes time some things you can't cover in a 20 minute speech you can't cover in a little five minute talk it takes time for humans it takes seem like more time than any other life for human beings the little wildebeest in africa guess how much time it's got as soon as it's born to be able to run with the pack so it doesn't get eaten by the lions guess how much time it's got a few minutes not hours not days minutes wow but the human baby wow so it does take time for personal development it does take time for spiritual development physical development but here's also what takes time and that's your mental development feeding the mind nourishing the mind some people read so little they got rickets of the mind they couldn't give you a good strong argument as to their own personal belief. I'm telling you, you've got to be able to pick up those ideologies. You've got to be able to pick up the philosophy. And here's the next part. You've got to be able to defend it. If you can't defend your virtues and if you can't defend your values, I'm telling you, even in the 90s, you'll fall prey to philosophies that are not in your best interest. You got to get yourself ready. And one of the ways you got to get ready is not just physical and not just spiritual. You got to get ready mentally and this is where Schoff went to work on you to be ready mentally to develop the philosophy and also be able to defend your virtues and your values don't be a follower be a student you'd be happy to know today we haven't come seeking disciples we've got no movement for you to join I'm just here to share some of my experiences good ideas best I can but I think that's good advice don't be a follower be a student right Take advice, but not orders. Take information, but don't let somebody, you know, order your life. Make sure what you do is the product of your own conclusion. Excellent note to make. Make sure what you do is the product of your own conclusion. Not to do what someone else says. Take what someone else says. Process it. Think about it. Ponder it. If it makes you wonder, if it makes you think, then it's valuable. Then when you go take action, make sure that the action is not what somebody told you to do. Make sure the action is the product of your own conclusion. If you'll follow just a little bit of those simple guidelines, I'm telling you the learning process can be speedy, swift, powerful. Your learning curve can go up and then applying it to your business, your life, your family, conversations, equities of all kinds. You'll find some progress like I did that first five years when I met a teacher willing to share with me, turn my life around progress I couldn't believe happened for me.